Oh, we've just downloaded Creation Club's new Staff of Hazadoki from Morrowind. And boy, does this look like fun. Let's have a look. Hey, how's it going? Good to have you back. And uh, Creation Club has been a bit busy and I've uploaded uh, the Wild Horses review, which I think was a pretty decent mod, to be honest. And now we're going to get a new staff, which is from Morrowind, and it's called the Staff of Hazadoki. Again, as in the Wild Horses, I'm going to do this as a playthrough as some parts of this quest didn't seem to complete, so you don't get quest markers for the next stage. Uh, but I'll show you where to go anyway, and not wanting to do any spoilers, but you do want to get this, uh, by the way. Okay, for the sake of speed, I'm going to do this as a full playthrough and a dash and bash style. Terrain isn't really geared for this. I'm actually building up to playing a completely different style. Uh, but like I say, for the sake of time, um, I'm, I'm going to do this uh, in and out as fast as I can. So if it all looks a little bit clumsy, well, forgive me. But I'll be doing a few videos on Tyrion's new build at uh, a later stage and it will make sense then. Right, this is the camp where we've come to test mods. I'm forever beating these guys up. And let's just pop in the board. And let's get all daggered up. Oh, no, maybe go for a bow. Yeah, we go for a bow. We can do this quickly. Oh, no, you didn't. Good night. Good night. Target down. I love him, the guy. I've uh, left Sophia at home. She, she was getting on my nerves. By the way, so I'm, I'm going to rock up uh, with Inigo from now on. Unless I'm travelling like long distances. And then I'll bring Sophia along as well. Uh, just for travelling purposes. And I've got the Torrens new armor on. It's a scout armor. It's a mod. So it looks quite good and is really in keeping with a new build as well. Which is going to be the kind of um, an assassin build in, 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 a, in a slightly different way. It's kind of funky though, isn't it? So she's got a posh Royal Red Guard armour and uh, her everyday murder armour, which is this. Now, yes, you do find a lot of good ingredients around here, and you want to collect those. Um, as I always tell you, always collect as many ingredients as you can. And until I started doing this build, Skooma, I always used to ignore it, but actually it's quite decent, and you do want to pick it up. Okay, now this is one of the uh, letters you meant to read, or a journal, or whatever you're meant to read and it should then start the next stage of the quest however and i kept on reloading and reloading and reloading and it never actually set up the next quest so hence i'm doing this as a a playthrough now read the smugglers trade notes so i make sure it's all on so read the smugglers trade notes I'll do that in a minute. Let's finish off. Uh, I might as well do this as well. I've made so much money building Trin's character, it's unreal. I don't need money at all now. Skillfully handled. Well, thank you very much, in you go. And read that as well, just in case that's part of it. Which I know it's not, but just in case. So, Mr. Salon, read Smuggler's Trade Notes.
which I've already done, which means there should be a quest marker up already, and there isn't one. You see, I've read it and it's still coming up incomplete. <sighs> Make sure it's on. There's nothing around here. No. I'm just double checking on this, just to make sure there's nothing else lying around that, that could actually trigger it. I'm sure there's not. No, so, so, there isn't. But, so, luckily, I know where to go. And actually, in that letter, they tell you. It's on the road outside White Run, running down towards that fort down the end. So all you got to do is make it to the road and turn right along the road. By the time I stop and get all these ingredients. just down here. Oh, he's just a farmer. That's a new discoverable uh, hut. Oh, and by the way, don't even bother trying to talk to him. He attacks you straight away, so there's no point. Okay. Now kill or pickpocket the orc and check the orc's body for clues. Get some decent gear off him. Staff of ice storms, that's quite good. Okay, now take that, I'm going to try that separate. Now completed, check the orc's body for clues, read the smuggler's letter. Smuggler's letter. And we read it. But Ivora Ophelved uh, in Brittle Shin Pass. Okay, that's where he's delivered everything to. Okay, I'm making sure I'm going through it page, page, and it's still not completing. Could we go through it again? There you go, it's still not completing. So, there's no quest marker that's come up. Yep, no quest mark at all. But luckily I know where to go. You see, look, they're still not completed. It's actually showing I didn't read the smugglers. Uh, so, uh, yeah, this this is the uh, thing, it's, it's glitched. And I'm not really sure if it's glitched for everybody, but it certainly was for me. So anyway, there's North Brittle Shin Pass is where you want to go. So Fort Greymore, uh, Binley Dark Farm, or Ilianatus Deep. Now you can go from um, South British Inn Pass if you want. You can get access it that way as well. Oh, nom nom. Nom nom. While I'm here. Uh, I'll probably do some looting in here. I won't show. I'll just do the main bits and bobs then we'll have a look at the stuff. Just for brevity's sake on the video. And I assure you I don't use a bow much at all. In, in this character and just for the, these kind of quests and what's a waste don't want to waste fire arrows or anything like that and there's a soul gem which will burn you to buggery see if you can get that damn it oh got it got it Arrow treats seem to take a long time, or travel a long time to get to it. Okay. Nom nom. Grand soul gem, soul husk. Huh. 
Actually, those ancient Nordic arrows aren't bad. Okay. It's quite a funky little cave, this one. I've given uh, Inigo, who's got high sneak anyway, I've given him boots with muffle and uh, fortify sneak uh, enchantments on it. Which is handy, because you know followers always get you in trouble. Okay, let's do this the proper way. And good night. Okay. And good night. Okay, so what I won't do is just show you all the uh, looting and stuff that I'm going to be doing uh, around here. I'll, I'll just cut all that out and uh, I'll see you on the other side in a minute. Just check this table to make sure everything and uh, see what we've got here and the staff of uh, Hazardoki there you go that's excellent stuff Right, okay. Um, I'll probably see you on the other side, actually. Okay, just make our way out into... We'll we come out on the south side, down at Ilionata's Deep or near there. It's somewhere around here, anyway. Yeah. Okay, so, let's have a little look at what we got. Now, this is really interesting. Um... If a target dies within 60 seconds, it falls a soul gem, knocks the targets on, on the floor. So effectively, it's, a, it's, it's like a, a soul trapper, it's, it's like a shout, and it's like a ward as well. It adds 40% resist magic uh, as, as well. Um, so this is pretty good. So if you're just holding it, not even using it as a weapon, um, so you can have the staff in one hand and a weapon in the other, you actually effectively got a constant ward, uh, which is brilliant. Um, I could say you can hit people and um, if they die in six seconds it'll trap their soul and it uh, acts like a shout it'll knock people over so it's a damn good staff so let's put it to the test there you go look at that <laughs> good night now if you notice right if I hit the two NPCs before it didn't um, commit a come up as a crime so if I hit the child, it come up as a crime. So I'm guessing if you hit certain NPCs, um, yeah, you, you get away with it, and, and others you, you won't. So you kind of have to learn that all the way along. Anyway, we go on, night. Good night. Good night. So what do I think of this mod? I think this is absolutely brilliant. This really adds a lot to the game. Um, I would definitely recommend this one. Um, you get a three in one there, like I say. You get a ward, a soul trapper and uh, unrelenting force I think the shout isn't it yeah unrelenting force shout effectively so yeah it's, it's all good fun and would I recommend this mod of course I would this is this is brilliant I mean this, this is what mods are all about brilliant fun you can commit crimes or, or not in some cases you can have a lot of laughs with this a brilliant assassin tool if you've got people uh, up on cliffs or the side of the building so uh, yeah it could come in handy and like i say it's a ward excellent stuff yeah definitely buy this guys if, if you if you've obviously got the, the spare credits on on the account and uh i hope you enjoyed this video um i certainly did and i'll certainly be using this catch you next time guys later I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did please leave a like, leave a comment and please do subscribe.
If you'd like to see more videos like this, then push the bell next to the subscribe button after you subscribe, obviously. Later.